kind of stamina and guts that brought this Canadian team this far. And out goes Marquez! And give him a little foot job there. Call the bear to get out. Much to the floor. Right off the rail came Big Peter Kelly, the Australian kangaroo. Right over the rail. I'll tell you. That's 47. as a real, real great series. Now we want you to watch this here. In the uh, final jam of this period, as the clock is ticking away the seconds, I don't know if they're gonna get any points on it. Two seconds, one second. The period is over. No points on the final jam. And uh, we're gonna have an interview In just a minute or so, that's Frankie Macedo, the little Ottawa boy, making a great, great showing. Oh, Number Frank, four, Frank, Frankie, Frankie Macedo. Which camera? Which camera? And take a look at this in slow motion as they replay. Number seven, Paul LeBear and um, Marquez going at it. Big Carlos Marquez. And the referee's trying to break it up. Paul LeBear and Marquez really going at it. And uh, this is a slow motion as you see it. Paul LeBear down. You know what happened after that. There's the score. Los Libertadores 45, Canada 37. Canada really holding their own coming back. And here now is uh, Aaron Rand talking to Frankie huh? Macedo, I see, standing with them. Aaron Rand up here at trackside now, and we're going to talk to Frankie Macedo. Frank, I th things are tough, but that's just incredible what they've been doing out here. Well, this team, the Liberators, they're new in town now. You know, now that we're in first place here, we're trying to maintain and go into the championship playoffs. These guys come in town trying to disrupt us, trying to hurt Paul and everything else. What's going on out here? What about well, it, Leroy? What are you about now? They're not happy unless they're griping about something. Well, look at him right here. He has to go to the dressing room for a, dr for a rest of some sort. What's the matter? What? Right, take it Paul, let's get it from Paul. What exactly is going on here? Nothing. Nothing's really going on here right now. As you know, and all the fans know, we finished number one in the league. Oh, come on, now. Come on, you just shut up and let me have my say-so. This team here right now, I have to say, is the hottest team going in the league. They've won, I think, 37 out of, 36 out of the last 40 games. You can't take that away from them. They got a good team, they got a rough team. But it only goes to show, we finished in number one, and we're going all the way and finish number one for all the fans in Canada. They're a good team, but they're gonna come out second. I have one hell of a team, excuse my language, behind me. Frank, Pete, Diane, Gwen, Dennis, Sam, the whole thing. We're going all the way. It's going to be a tough battle, Paul. You're going to have to change strategy at all. No, we're going to fight fire with fire. Listen, they want to, yes, any man, way they want to do, that's the way we'll up, skate. All right, Leroy, I'm going to give you your chance now. What's the About story time, on this team? You know, uh, people up here can't skate. They're not athletically inclined. All I do is gripe a lot. If they can't take our type of game, then they don't belong out here. They got to go to the dressing room or go home to mama where they belong. We, they say they call us second, but we're a new team. And all these kids have, uh, don't have the 50 years experience these two have here. But I'll tell you what, we're new and we're going to win you and we're going to be number one in everything. What about throwing chairs on people? That's not the way the yeah, game I is played. Yeah, you better stop it. I mean, he's, he's throwing quite a few of them. Both of them. They're, like I said, we're going to fight fire with fire. Whatever type of game they want to skate, that's the type of game we're going to skate. We're going to put your fire out, Buster. We're going to put it out tonight. All right, anything you think you can do, Leroy, you just come out and try because I got the team behind me. And I'm not fretting a thing. You need a whole team to stop me, Buster. That, I can tell you that much. I'll tell you what, we'll wait you till... You little squirt right there. Listen, Leroy, first of all, we're in number one place. Not you guys. And we fought all this year just to stay up here. And we, we intend to stay here. And if you wanted first place, then you should have fought a little harder. We've got the better team, and we're going to prove it to you in the next coming up series. And you'll find out about You're it. You're number one, all right, in bad breath. That's all I can tell you. All right, Paul, there's no doubt about it. He come out here, he can't up here and talk and back up his words. He's got to come out with his little sayings. 
you're number one in bad breath. It just goes to show we've got the better team. We fought last year. We ended up second this year. We know number one. There's only one other place to go, and that's to bring that big cup back to Canada and all the fans up here. All right, Paul. Success in this one, Frankie. You too. All right, you heard it from here. It's going to be Frankie Macedo, Paul LeBear Rupert now doing their job. Let's get back to third period action after these messages coming your way. Well, here we are back with the ladies on the track after that very interesting interview with Darren Rand talking to uh, Paul LeBear and uh, little Frankie Macedo. And Frankie sure had a lot to say getting up there, didn't he, Aaron? He sure did. And I'll tell you, the way this Canadian team talks, it's not going to surprise anybody, and least of all them, if they actually win this roller skating conference, uh, roller derby, and bring it home to Canada for the first time ever, Barry. And I know you know that. Oh, I'm quite positive about that. Uh, we should mention that we are inaugurating in this series a uh, star selection. At the end of the game, after the fourth period, we'll be back with a recap of the game and also the stars of the game. So uh, don't go away at the end of the, uh, the eighth period, that is, rather. That's right. This is half number two, as we mentioned, of this game. Right now, let's get onto the track, see what's going on on the jam. Number 45, well, she was on the jam. She's on her fanny right now. Moving up there for the Canadians. Number six is Donna Fox. She got one right there. Time running out with three seconds left to go. Fox going by, let's see. The referee says one Canadian point for Donna Fox, but I guess one is better than none. The Canadians now slowly trying to fight their way back. And things like that make it tough. There you see Juanita Ricardo, number 41, grabbing hold of Diane Severson. And remember, this is semi-final action. These teams will be traveling to your localities. Mary, let's have those dates and be sure to come out there and watch your Canadian All-Stars in action. Well, you know, Aaron, the folks in Newfoundland have been riding roller derby for on to two years now, asking when would they get to see roller derby in person. Well, folks in Newfoundland, your opportunity has come to pass because roller derby is coming to Newfoundland and the first date is going to be Tuesday, September 3rd in Bonavista. Wednesday the 4th, we're going to be in Clarenville Stadium in Clarenville. Thursday the 5th, Harbor Grace. Friday the 6th, St. John's at the stadium. Saturday the 7th in Gander. Sunday the 8th, Grand Falls. Monday the 9th, Lewisport. Tuesday the 10th, Corner Brook. Wednesday the 11th, Stephenville. Thursday the 12th, Porto Basque, and that's all in Newfoundland. And I mentioned the other dates earlier in the Maritimes and in the eastern part of Canada. We'll tell you those again later. Meanwhile, there's a jam underway. That there is. Sally Vega, number 46, going up there for the Liberators right now. And they're trying to pile these points on. The Liberators not taking anything off their game. Vega in the lead on the jam. Right behind their number four in your picture right now, Michelle Pelican. Pelican moving up there. You see the pack. Vega, 46, Pelican, 4. They have got 29 seconds left to go in the jam. There's Severson, number 7, up on the rail. Uh-oh, Pelican going down, hitting the deck. Now Vega, the only one up there. There you see Pelican picking herself up. Time running out in the jam. 15 seconds left to go. Severson doing the blocking right now on Sally Vega. And there are two of the toughest women in roller derby. Right there on your screen. 46, Vega, 7, Severson. And look at it. Took three to take her out of the play as Ponce got in the way. Vega still moving with five seconds left to go. Now they cut off the jam. Look at that. Severson being worked on in the infield. Let's see what the referee has to say on this one. Official Dave Cox. There you see Severson down there. She's in some sort of pain. Four Liberator points on that one. So they are really starting to pile it on. Barry, it's going to take a lot of points in a hurry to get this Canadian team on top. Well, 49-38. 11 points, is that right? Yeah, it is. That's right. Well, that proves I went to school. <laughs> Diane Severson having a little trouble getting up, being helped up there by Skinny Minnie. She's up walking around slowly, just limping around the uh, inside of the track in the infield. And remember, once again, we remind you, the only people that can score any points are those wearing the helmets. They are called the jammers. They have got 60 seconds from the time the whistle blows to pull out of the pack, go all the way around, and pass the players of the opposing team. For every player they pass on the opposing team, they score one point. This is the only game in the world where both teams can score at the same time. 
All right, on the jam right now, number 45, Nitsa Ponce, along with our six, Donna Fox. Number one for the Canadians, Glory Wilner now, trying to get up there as well. It's Donna Fox on the outside. Look out, Ponce hitting her, and down she goes. So the Liberators now are really going after the Canadians. They've got the only jammer out there right now. Number 45, Nitsa Ponce. Trying to get up there along with her right now. Look out, Sherry Jackson really unloading on her. 30 seconds left to go in the jam. There you see Jackson on the outside using that elbow block to great, great success right now. She's keeping Ponce at a distance. And as long as no one gets back there, she's all right. But that's the part you can't count on. There you see number 41 moving into the picture. Juanita Ricardo trying to block out Jackson, but they're running out of time. They're going to have to hurry. They've got 11 seconds left to go. Now Fox, well, where did she come from? Donna Fox, who was down off the last jam, is back in the picture, but not enough time. Not enough time to score any points, so the scoreboard remains unchanged, Barry. Still 49 to 38 here in period number seven. One more period to follow the men in period number eight. Well, um, the folks viewing, you might have seen that there's a score. Los Libertadores 49, Canada 38. Uh, big Sherry Jackson is a new addition to this team and an excellent addition she is. She's a big girl, strong. She doesn't move that fast, but she's got the weight and makes an excellent blocker. She's played in a lot of opposing teams. There's the address to write to subscribe to Roller Derby Action, the official Roller Derby newspaper. Box 5700, Montreal 101, Quebec. For all the news and happenings in Roller Derby League, all stories about the Canadian stars. All right, Barry, on the track right now. Severson being dumped by number 41, Ricardo. There were the two captains going on that one. Ricardo, of course, the captain of Los Libertadores, and Diane Severson, the captain of this Canadian team. But right now it's Ricardo, the only one wearing that helmet, and that means she's the only one who's eligible to score points. Ricardo taking a leg now from Severson. Severson got her on the inside. She tried to sneak by, but didn't make it. 30 seconds left to go. Severson still keeping an eye on her, not letting her go very far. On the outside now, Ricardo coming up on her. Look out, the cocoa butt. Boy, we haven't seen Diane use that for a long time. Ricardo being dumped again. Time running out, 15 seconds. Again, Severson lets her have it. Time running out right now. Let's see. She gets up, cuts up the jam, and there will be no points. Oh, look out, the Bulldog. Saverson really thumping on number 41, Juanita Ricardo, and there were no points, and listen to the hand from Diane Saverson. Well, she certainly deserves a hand. Oh, brother, down she goes. Plattsburgh on the beach. It's really beautiful there, I hear, and it's going to be really beautiful, exciting, and loaded with action tonight, Sunday the 4th, in the new Crete Memorial Arena, where these two teams will be meeting each other head on. Tuesday the 6th, you see, this is in August, in Joliet. And then Wednesday the 7th of August, in Ottawa at the Civic Center Stadium, out there under the stars. Gee, I hope it's a beautiful night, Aaron. However, in any event, if it is rained out, that game, the Ottawa game, will be played Thursday the 8th. Thetford Mines, Friday the 9th. St. Hyacinth, Saturday the 10th. Paladis Bar in Granby on August 11th. That's Sunday. And La Chute, Monday, August the 12th. All right, on the jam right now. Number 43, Lucy Ponce, number three. Gwen Skinny Minnie Miller. And uh-oh, Gwen goes down. Now it's Ponce in the lead on the jam. Lucy Ponce, she was number four in scoring in the International Skating Conference this season. She is a tough competitor on that track. Right back there to block, we talked about her. Number eight, Sherry Jackson. She's a big one, and she keeps them from moving by. Jackson now blocking out Ponce. She's over the rail. And look out, here comes Skinny Minnie Miller. But they didn't have enough time. Remember, there are only one minute of jam time allowed on any of these, and it's in that one minute that you've got to try to lap that pack and pick up some points. So the scoreboard now showing the Cats 49, uh, the Liberators rather, 49, and the Canadians 38. Still an 11 point lead. We've got 45 seconds left to go here in period number seven, and there is a tired Skinny Minnie Miller. Aaron, this is a real long period for both teams not to have scored. They're so evenly matched, these teams. They're just holding each other back from scoring. 
And down goes Juanita Ricardo. All right, Saberson now, and they start the chant here. Go 